Okay, we're in Marseille and I am doing a very quick film to show you this extraordinary exhibition called Mangaro, which is at the Friche Belle de May uh, in Marseille, curated by Paquita Bolino um, with a colleague from Japan. It opens, of course, with uh, the Garo magazine with fabulous images of the covers on the wall there and a history, issue by issue, with particularly important information about the artists presented. So an impressive, this is only part of it, only part of it. Um, this is to, to explain how influential Garrow has been, not just in its initial form uh, in the early 60s, in 64 and onwards, but actually throughout its, its run, especially its modern era, when the work of uh, Terry Johnson, uh, that was his pen name, of course. This kind of avant-garde Heta Yuma style was introduced. And we can see uh, information here on the walls and, again, many more copies of the magazine presented. Beautiful to see not only, of course, the covers, but also the beautiful two-color interiors as well. These are, I think it may even be, I think it is actually a, not a complete run. No, not a complete run, but it's a hell of a lot of them. Here's a fantastic wall display of uh, Terry Johnson's iconic covers, which really transformed the look of comics and graphics in Japan at the time. Uh, had a huge influence, and in many ways was the start, as I say, of this Heta Uma unskilled skill style. Uh, and the con exhibition continues with, as I say, even more of these uh, crucial stories. Here, for example, work, of course, by Suge, an enormous influence. Um, <laughs> Uh, just too much to take in, actually, but a fantastic range of work through this crucial period when Garrow moved into some new territories that it never had explored before, uh, became more avant-garde, more experimental, <clears throat> and allowed the kind of work to appear that really couldn't be published anywhere else, certainly not in, in uh, any kind of uh, relatively mainstream Japan, Japanese magazine. So a really important um, space for experimentation. Uh, and some fantastic images. Uh, many of them have been extracted by Ladenia Cree, who run um, a soup screen workshop and publishing enterprise here at this enormous former cigarette factory that's now become a huge arts venue uh, in Marseille. And Daniel Cree have their own studio here, which I'll be filming a bit later on. But as you can see, they also made here uh, prints onto fabric in a style that's typical of, of Japan. And new commissions have been made here. Um, very impressive. <laughs> I can't, I'm not quite as big as that. <laughs> Hilarious. And a, a brand new piece of painting directly onto the wall here as well, which is really lovely. Um, I'll just have a check and see who this is by. There's a silk screen related to this artist. This is by the Juro Ishikawa, who I've just seen earlier, just met for the first time. So that's hilarious stuff. And then we come through to the modern section. So that's the Garo section of the exhibition. And now let's go through into this area, which is kind of like a street market. Again, with all these beautiful printed banners at the top, and each of the main publishing houses is given their own sort of street stall, if you like, as we go through. Each has a chance to kind of display their wares in a nicely constructed kind of shop effect. Uh, and of course you can browse uh, uh, the, the actual publications. But also what's exciting is there are original art books on display as well. This is a magazine called Erect, experimental graphics magazine, uh, with work, original work here by Osuke Kawamura, uh, who is doing work here with, uh, with collage. And that's uh, the work from Erect magazine. And over here, particularly exciting, uh, amongst the items that have been made for this exhibition is a beautiful piece. I know I should be using gloves, uh, but this is a, a limited edition, 100 copies of a new publication by Keiichi Tanami, made specially for the exhibition. Keiichi Tanami, Death Bridge, a giant a uh, silk-screened book of fabulous imagery, all very uh, exciting stuff, incredible images from Tanami there. Um, and uh, if you follow me around the corner here, lots of new artists I'm not aware of. Some I was, but quite a few I'm not. This is an exciting the magazine called Mograg um, Garage. It's an experimental magazine, as you can see here, there are the copies, some of their graphics on here, and their artists' work here. Also on the walls, 
the walls have got many more pieces of new artwork. Uh, amongst the artists, this guy I've just met called Oki Chu. His work is really beautiful, lovely, um, lovely paintings he's, he's displaying here at the exhibition. So as well as, let's say, the actual printed work and silk screen work, there are original artworks by, by artists, many of whom are here. I think something like about a dozen Japanese artists have been invited, many of them quite young, getting their first exposure in Europe. Uh, over here, uh, what do we have here? Oh, this is um, the work of Axe magazine, which of course was the, the kind of continuation or rebirth, if you like, of, um, of uh, Garo, uh, edited by uh, Asakawa Mitsuhiro. These are pages of artwork, really original, from Hanawa's Doing Time. Uh, I've actually got that lovely big Garo book there, but um, there are other pages of artwork by Hanawa, which is very exciting to see. And then, let's say, a display of books and slip screens and videos from the publishing house. And more work over here, some uh, interesting originals here uh, by Imiri Sakabashira, who is also part of the, the Axe generation of, of newer artists who have come through recently in this similar style of Heta Uma school. Uh, on the walls, some very interesting new artists on the walls here. Uh, perhaps the one, one, two of the most striking. This is an interesting young guy that uh, just pointed out to me by Kita Bolino, uh, whose name is Nirotaka, Nirotaka. And these two are twins called Hamadaraka. There's Eru and Emu Arizono, and they work together on these very exciting, gigantic works. There's an amazing painting here. If we're going really close, you can just see the, the detail that's been put into this. Really fabulous, fabulous illustration, fabulous artwork. Uh, it's a bit noisy, sorry. <laughs> Uh, and over here, of course, Daniel Cree, who really are one of the most avant-garde uh, and original publishers in the world of comics and graphics. This is some of their Japanese work, particularly the work of uh, Kaiti Ota. Kaiti Ota, just there, you can see some of his. Excuse the noise. That's recording on it, yeah, it is. Uh, over here, okay, we have Le Lézard Noir. A French publisher, but doing some really important artists like Marowa, and here's some original pages of artwork by Marowa. I mean, a really special thing to have Marowa originals on display for the first time in this display here. Quite wonderful. Um, and more. Oh, God, there's too much. <laughs> what have we got here? Oh, yes. Uh, okay, what is this? What is this stuff? Okay, this is more work from this is work from Jiro Ishikawa, who made that uh, giant erection and wall painting. That's uh, some more of his marvelous sink stream work. And images here from this group of publishing artists. And over here, this is a group I hadn't heard of before called Timeless, who produced well, got some lovely originals. There's work here from. Uh, Maruo, for example, and also here from Shintaro Kage. Kago, I should say, so Kago Shintaro. Uh, this company, Timeless, are in France, but they're actually making beautiful large format art books of many of the artists we're seeing here. So that's beautiful work. Good.